How's it going, everybody? Dotodoy here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters news slash update video for you all today. And it's actually quite a big one, as with Roshi around the corner, we have now gotten a ton of information in regards to the V Jump League and just what exactly Roshi is going to be doing when he does drop in Dragon Ball Fighters sometime around September. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, it's not all great. <laughs> in fact, we might even have another Videl situation on our hand. Not necessarily because Roshi is going to be bottom tier or anything. I mean, the character's not even out yet. More just in the fact that we have another character in the game that has had their system mechanics tampered with in order to make them stand out a little bit more from the rest of the cast. Only now in Roshi's case, instead of not having a reflect, he, um, he doesn't have a super dash. <laughs> and honestly, the V-Jump pages we got don't make a huge deal about this. They mentioned it a little bit here in a text bubble, talking about how this makes him one of the more technical characters in the game and mentioning his other movement options, which we will cover pretty soon. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up right away because the lack of information makes it hard to determine uh, how big of a deal is this going to be? You know, is he, is it one of those things where he doesn't have super dash, but he does have like a, oh, you know, it kind of works like super dash anyway, or, or does he actually just not have super dash? And does this mean that he can't be raw tagged in? Or if he is raw tagged in, does he only go in a horizontal path or can he follow people at all with it? it, it there's so many questions surrounding this that I honestly don't think it's worth getting too worried about. I myself personally am a little worried. I mean, obviously when you're messed with a mechanic such as super dash, you either make a character that's going to be really bad or you overcompensate so much that he's probably going to be really annoying. It's one of those two things for me right now in my head at least. But as I think about it more and more, I really do like that they're trying something so daring for a character in DBFZ. In fact, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you might even remember that I kind of wanted to see something like this happen for the original DBZ Broly release. Although in that case, it was more about making him a scarier grappler. And that's aided by the fact that every character has a super dash. Now before the trailer, I really wanted to see Broly not have one of these and in exchange maybe he could make it so super dashing to him would be an extremely risky move. But let's get back to Master Roshi and actually talk about what his other alternatives are to Super Dash now that he's lost access to that system mechanic. Shout out to Goresh, by the way. If you don't know who he is, he's a Dragon Ball fan that does a lot of translations on Twitter uh, for a lot of different Dragon Ball games. So I'll have a link to his Twitter down below. I asked him for some help on this Roshi stuff about the Super Dash stuff specifically. So if you want to stay up to date on anything Dragon Ball, I would definitely consider following him. But I had Goresh translate everything around the Super Dash part and it basically came down to this. The most technical of all fighters, no super dash, make use of the master's leap that sends you flying towards your opponent and reverse Kamehameha that can be used in midair. Now, as for reverse Kamehameha, we actually do have a clear cut picture of what that actually looks like. And no surprise, it's a reverse Kamehameha that can send you flying, at least as we know now, horizontally across the screen. Now, what we don't know is, is master's leap this move that we see here, or is it something else that he leaps up in a different manner? Uh, that's, that's the really big unknown about this part that we brought up earlier is that we just don't know yet. We also don't know, to my knowledge, if you can aim the reverse Kamehameha up diagonal or anything like that, or, or what Master Roshi does off of a tag-in. So again, not a lot of information out here. It's unfortunate that we didn't get too much about this, but there's still a ton of other information we can find out about Roshi in this scan. So let's move on to something more lighthearted with Roshi's big level three, and that is the OG Kamehameha, in which Roshi goes into his full power buffed up form and launches the original beam as his level three. I don't think Think there's anything else to it from what i understand the other translation mentions another max power attack for a long press to launch kamehameha i'm not entirely sure what that's referring to i think it's probably referring to the reverse kamehameha but i thought i'd bring that up just in case there is another max power attack kamehameha the other super that we get to see in this game is of course the one we saw in the trailer which is the mafuba of course classic super move looks really good i've heard people say that it got confirmed that it locks characters out that you hit as assists and it forces another to tag in I couldn't find a source on that, so I'm not confident in saying that's 100% going to be a thing, but I really would love if that's a feature, and I would think that would be super funny. And I can't wait to use this one on other people and get it used on myself when we do the Roshi raid. That's going to be a ton of fun. That about does it in terms of Master Roshi supers. Now we can move on to another area where I was really intrigued by the character, and that is his special move. So let's start off with one that we can't really talk about too much, and that is the hypnosis technique or this very little picture we we see here on the bottom right that we don't unfortunately have a full picture of but uh, the translation we have here says that it does stagger the enemy that guards that might mean that it uh, staggers people that are guarding uh, I don't know again not a lot of information can be gathered off of this picture so we're gonna move on to the next technique that we can fully see and sounds 
really, really good. This is something you give to somebody that can't super dash, and that is the lightning flash attack. It's long range, goes at the perfect angle to catch somebody jumping, and cannot be guarded in the air. If you've ever played a match against somebody that likes to, you know, jump and back off, like keep jumping in the air and backing off, uh, this is going to be a very good move against those opponents, and it's going to be able to catch a lot of people super dashing. Of course, that is ideally. I mean, there's always a chance that this move ends up with a really long wind up or a really long cooldown that kind of makes it a really bad like let's say if this move is as slow as goku black's command grab uh, on startup that might be an issue for it but if it's decently fast i could see this being one of master roshi's best moves right off the jump because this covers a really really good space so if you are a master roshi fan i would definitely say to look forward to this special move the most and that is all the information we have regarding roshi at least when it comes to this month's v jump leak now i do kind of want to end this off by just opening up a discussion in the comments about this no super dash thing not only do i want to hear whether or not you think it's a good idea to go about using this way to sort of uh, differentiate the characters even more. I think they've been doing a really good job with the DLC lately, making them even more unique from the rest of the cast. And like I said before, I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be, even if he ends up being bad, I think it's a nice change and it's going to be fun seeing Roshi fight completely differently from the rest of the cast. But I also have to add, I mean, what is the end game here for Roshi? Can he do, you know, after smash attacks like heavies, can he do normal super dashes or does he have to follow up with that reverse Kamehameha that he can only use when he's off the ground? Will that be his go-to and will that force all of his combos to have sort of a re-jump style of play? Or maybe you get a normal heavy and if you're on the ground you get the leap and that always guarantees a horizontal combo as well. Like what happens when Roshi lands a 2H on somebody that super dashes in on him? Does he just have to like shrug his shoulders and say well I you know I guess I'll let it reset back to neutral. It's uh it's gonna be so interesting. I think people are just gonna have to learn to punish everything Super Dash related or even anti-air related with Roshi with that lightning attack special that we saw before. So that's kind of why I thought it would be one of his best supers and why so many players would, would have to focus on that when we get him uh, in the lab day one. I I don't know, dude. It sounds to me like Roshi is always going to have to make sure his game is completely horizontal. You know, there's no vertical play with Roshi, at least in my mind, uh, with how it works. Another area that we talked about that I really want to see is raw tags or tag-ins. Does, will he break the rules then? Are we, are we going to ignore it then? Or does he, does he beam in completely ignoring the opponent? Or does he leap in completely ignoring the opponent? I, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds so funny in my head. Like you tag in a character and Roshi just comes flying in, not caring where the enemy is. It sounds so risky for a character idea but again i love that they're taking this chance and going with it let me know what you think about all of that down below i'm talking your entire opinions about the situation i want to see some essays down in the comments i will read them all uh, it is going to be so much fun going through these uh in comments in particular and if you're a roshi fan let me know if you're happy that they're trying something new for your character or more worried that they're trying something new with the character you were hoping to make other than that while you're down below in the comments if you like these news slash update videos make sure to the like button and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos videos that should be up on your screen. Other than that, I have been Dr. Doya and I will see you in the next one.